Hello students, a very warm welcome to Arihant Online Academy and here we are going to discuss a very interesting problem of C programming language and you are also going to be thrilled because somewhat we are expanding our knowledge from the basic level to the intermediate level now. The program is C program to find the number of line in any text file. So let's say you are having a text file in your PC, in your machine and if you want to just count that how many number of lines existed there. Then there is a logic existed using file handling concepts in C. I'm going to tell you the concepts as well as I am going to tell you that how exactly you need to run this program on your compiler and need to find the answer. So let's start step by step. Basically, our main program is starting from here onwards and file a strict file PTR. It is a file pointer. We have already discussed in the file handling concepts that star file PTR is the syntax for file handling. And int count line is our initial variable whose initial value is zero. We have assigned the value count lines as zero. It is an integer type variable. Thereafter, we are having an array file care 40. That is basically take because of putting the file name. Let's say any, any file is having particular name with its extension. Just to store that name, we are having array whose name is file care. Its type is care and memory we have allocated is 40. We can allocate 50, 60, 80, 100 depends. But you do not need to be confused why 40 is there. You can put any size of any size here, right? 100, it means that the maximum file name could be 100 like that. No problem. Thereafter, one more variable we are having CHR. Now let's look what we are exactly doing in this. Printf enter file name. We are just asking user that kindly enter the name of file in which you want to get the number of lines. So whatever user is going to enter the name of file with its extension, for example, line.c, it is the extension of this file. Line.txt, it is the extension of somewhat file I have stored in my PC. That is the thing. So whatever user is going to uh, tell to the compiler, it's going to print it, let's say line.txt, but that file should exist in that. If it is not existed, then we'll get error. If it is existed, then it's going to compile and let you know that this much number of lines are there. How? Just focus here. So basically that file name is going to be stored in the array file care. Thereafter, we are using an important query here, file PTR. We are assigning something to the pointer file, file pointer. What we are assigning, F open file care R. Basically the meaning of this is we are opening that file. Compiler is going to opening that file internally. What does this R means? Basically this R is meaning read mode. Compiler is going to open that file in read mode. That is only going to read that file and file care is going to let compiler know that which file it have to open because file care is just storing the name of file which user have entered. So that file is going to be open in read mode. Now compiler have opened that file in background in read mode. I hope up to this you got everything. Now what we are doing, care equals to get C file PTR. So basically we are assigning something to the character variable CHR. It is getting characters from the file PTR. It's getting character from the file PTR and what it is doing. Care does not equals to EOF end of file. It's going to be done. This while loop is going to be run till the end of file. It's, it's try to get the characters one by one, one by one, and it's doing till this while loop is filled. What while loop is doing? Care does not equals to end of file. If it is not end of file, then we are counting the new line because new line is going to be inside compiler. It's going to be a slash n. So if this occurred, if this encountered, then count line equals to increment by one. Count line equals to count line plus one. This is going to increase the number of line. Initially count line is assigned as a zero. So every time is n encountered there, it is going to be plus one, plus one, plus one till this n is there. And how many times this loop is going to work till end of file, till end of file, this is going to be work. Now, what we are doing, take next character and it's going to check this. It's going to check this till the end of file. It means that file is going to be read, read from first to last till that this loop is going to work. After, let's say at the last line, it's get that card care does not equals to end of file, but it's end of file. So if it is end of file at that time, compiler is going to F close file PTR. It means that 
whatever file compiler has open in read mode it is going to close that and just after that it is going to print that there are this number of lines in the file there are this number of lines in the file okay now let's try to run it so let me try to run it in front of you there is a text file line.txt you all can see in my folder coding folder i have a file name line.txt let me open it let me open it you can simply see that we are having 11 lines here we are ha having 11 lines here right now what i am going to do i am opening my compiler and uh, let me run it so gcc and the name of program which i am running line.c line.c i am running it it's executable file a is generated it's telling me it's asking me please enter file name I am entering file name line.txt. If I am going to print it, it should print. How many lines are there, guys? Focus. 11 lines are there, na? It should print. There are 11 lines in that. Let me put enter. Let me put enter. Line.txt. Enter file name line.txt. You can simply see that there are 11 lines in line.txt file. And it is correct. There are 11 lines. So this is how our program of uh, printing the line number of lines in any text file we can do this using this logic you can write on your compiler and face up your hand on that further if you got any kind of query doubts while doing this program you can ask me in comment section here itself so that you, the session could be very interactive and we can do such kind of more problems interactively i hope the solution is taken by you and it's very much clear to all of you Thank you so much guys. Have a very nice day. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat and don't forget to subscribe our channel. Please like the button and try to be interactive with us as much as possible from your side. Thank you so much. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat.